Hello everybody, it's Herbie again. It's been brought to my attention that um, guys are looking at this KPR 200 and they're not sure if uh, they could fit on it well or they don't really have anything to gauge it upon on whether, you know, at your height, if it's a good height for this bike. So I'm going to do a demonstration of myself and of my wife so you'll have two different um, heights to see what it's like on this bike. And I'm 6'1", I have a 33 inch inseam. And I'll show you what it's like with me on the bike. Now I'm really tall for this bike, but it feels comfortable. You know, I mean, I can sit and have my knees bent, feet are flat on the floor, and I'm comfortable. But when I stand up, I probably have a good four inches underneath of me. So there's plenty of room. Now, the seating position on this for a guy that's 6'1", like myself, is really comfortable. Right now I have a pair of handlebar risers on here, so it's bringing the handlebars farther this way. Because for me, uh, it's more comfortable with the risers on it. Um, in this seating position, with your legs backwards, is probably the most comfortable for motorcycle riding, at least it is for me, because when your legs are bent and you're leaning forward a little bit, your back is at an angle. When you're sitting up straight like this and riding, your back kind of gets tired because it wants to slouch. Uh, that's why you see a lot of people who have back rests on their seats. But whenever you have this riding style, you're leaning forward and you don't have all that pressure on your back. So if you have a bad back, this is a better riding position. The one negative to it is when you're leaning forward like this, it puts more stress on your shoulders and on your traps and that kind of stuff. So you get tired there first, but your back doesn't normally get too tired. But this is a good riding position. Let me put it on center stand real quick. Let you see what it's like whenever I'm sitting on it riding. Now see, I'm sitting all the way forward in the seat and my knees is past this cutout right here, which means that uh, I'm a little bit big for the bike. But if I just scoot back just a little bit, I can tuck my legs in into that notch. Because when you're going down the road, you want least wind resistance as you can get. So you want your legs tucked in so all I have to do is scoot back. And once I'm in my position and I'm riding, this is really comfortable. So this works best for me. So I'm gonna let my wife get on here and let uh, you see what it's like for somebody that's her size. Okay, this is my wife, this is Mrs. Herbie. And she's gonna demonstrate what it's like for somebody her height she is five foot two inches tall and her end seam is 30 inches 30 inches so go ahead and stand up stand the bike up get it off of the kickstand okay now see her feet are up off the ground just a little bit her heels are off but her toes are touching and she's only five two so that's probably going to be about the limit. You might be able to squeeze a 5.1, but 5.2 uh, is probably going to be your limit to uh, safely ride the motorcycle. As you can see, um, she's leaning forward probably a little bit more than me because her arms are a little bit shorter than mine. But it still is a pretty good riding position. Now let me put it up on the center stand and you can see what it's like with her seated in the riding position. Okay, now she's in the riding position. Uh, see how her legs, how much room she has in here in the pocket? She's got a lot of room because her legs are shorter. But 
she still fits it really well, even at five foot two inches. So five foot two inch height up to six foot one inch height should be great for this bike. And this is my 2022 KPR 200. And if you'd like to get one of these bikes, um, Venom Motorsports is going to be where you want to buy it from. They're a great company. And if you wanted to find out the details on this bike, you know, the weight and uh, the performance of it and just different things, you know, the tire diameters, whatever you might want to find out. They have all the specifications on their website. So check them out. It's a great bike and uh, I've enjoyed it. So anyway, well, thanks for watching for uh, Herbie and Mrs. Herbie. Thanks for watching. Bye now.